Welcome back to Game Time with your friends. We're back. Still working at Donkey Kong Country. Still drinking that coffee, having nice little talks. Having nice talks, chilling out on a Saturday afternoon. Best buds. Best buds. <laughs> Game time with your best buds, with your friends. <laughs> What's up, everyone? I hope you guys are all having delightful days if you're watching yeah. this on a Saturday, if you're watching this on a... On a Wednesday. Sunday. No, uh, Sundays. Or Sunday. Sunday. Sun, <laughs> Sunday. Days for suns. You know, when I was younger, I always used to think, like, why is every Sunday so sunny? Really? Yeah. I uh, For some reason, every time I would think about, like, every time I would think of that thought on a Sunday, it was sunny. So I'd be like, wow, again, another sunny Sunday. It's got to be God. <laughs> this is back to what I meant about weak child brains. <laughs> yeah, that's what I used to think, man. I was like, oh, it's sunny because it's Sunday. Thanks, God. You always doing me doing me right on the weekends. But yeah, that was a uh, that was uh, <laughs> Woo! You shook so much when you did that last job. I, like, ah! I kind of felt something strange going on. Because as I get older, I'm now one of those old guys who like reactionary jumps when they like Fuck. play games. Those people, man, like my brother's like that. It's happening to me. When he plays Mario Kart, he moves his whole body in the <laughs> car. <laughs> those are the worst. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> but he's like he he's having so much fun. So I'm not like Gabe, don't do that. He's just having fun. I'm like, all right, you don't play video games often. Do it. Have mm -hmm. fun. Have fun. Yeah, why not? Do you. Do you and move your body. Or move, move this that tire. Body. Move that tire. Move that tire, baby. Got to roll the tire. Looks like, uh, it looks like one of those candies. I can't remember what they're called. Like lifesavers. It looks like a lifesaver. It looks like a lifesaver? Yeah. Remember those fucking games, like, online that were, like, so, like, shitty? Like, shitty games like Miniclip and AddictiveGames.com. I do, yeah. Like, and then, and then, like flash games. Like flash games. They're like they're shitty, but like they're fun. And so you keep playing them, and like, I don't know. I kind of have like a weird nostalgia for them, and at the same time, I kind of get a little grossed out. You get grossed out. Yeah, I'm like, Ugh, like I don't want to go back to those days. I, I mean, like, I those games are game. fine, but they're not like good or anything. No, like there was this one game called Stick Wars, I think, where it's like a turn-based game where you just like take turns throwing. Uh, weapons and bombs and, and all sorts of different stuff. stuff. Yeah, yeah, from stick people camps. And that shit was fun. And you could... It was fun, but those games are stupid. They are stupid. There was a lot that you could actually play online, though. Yeah. Like, you would actually meet other people. You'd get matched up with another person randomly, and you would play online and try to beat their base and shit like that. It's like proto-Tinder. Yeah, like, it was pretty cool. Yeah, it's the same as Tinder. It's the same thing as Tinder, except yeah. you don't get to fuck. Yeah. And, or see them. Yeah. And you don't know what their gender is or their age. And you're playing against them in a little and stick And you're doing a game. video game instead of talking about fucking. Yeah. Or, or hanging out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's another thing about Tinder is everyone thinks it's just about fucking. And it kind of is. It kind of is. But, but really, when I yeah. use it, I never... I, I always have deep conversations with girls. Like, mind you, I don't get that many conversations. Because I think a lot of them are just like, oh, I don't have time to, to talk to another dude again. Mm -hmm. Like, and if you're going to hit me up, fucking invite me out. Do song and dance again. Yeah, so like, they're like, I feel like a lot of girls are like, invite me out right away if, you, if you're cute. Or like, let's talk about like getting down and dirty. Or like doing something Ooh. like physical or like actually going out on a date. But with me, like, I just like to talk. Like, that's the type of person that I am. Like, I just like to fucking talk. I mean, talk. on this channel, you talk a whole lot of yeah. aggressive, yeah. sort of sexual things. But see, you're that, not really like that. I'm not really like that in person. Well, just listen to my self-therapy game, and you'll see, like, a complete dis difference. The, the, the contrast is going to be, like, out of control when you hear how I am on, like, our Let's Plays, and then you hear how I am on self-therapy. Like, I'm a completely different person. But... In real life, I'm probably like a mix of two, of both. You are. I'm a mix of both, and on Tinder, I like to talk. Like, I don't see why you're going to be hooking up with people just, like, randomly. I think it's gross. Yeah, but, I, I would be the same way. I'd be talking. Yeah, but I don't know. I think Tinder gets the bad rap. I think Tinder's done a lot of good for a lot of people. It's done a lot of bad for a lot of people, but at the same time, it's getting you out there. Hey, some of my friends who are getting married met on Tinder. I have a friend who's been dating a girl for, like, almost three years now, and they're, like, identical. Like, I can't believe there's a there's another human being so like him because he's so unique. But they're and they so, met on Tinder? Yeah, and they met on Tinder, and they're, like, so driven to do the exact same things. It's fucking creepy. Oh. Like, like they're both mountaineers. Mm -hmm. And I was like, no one's going to put up with how crazy you are with mountaineering because he's crazy. He's too yeah. into it. And then he finds this girl on Tinder of all places, and she's all like, yeah, I'll climb Kilimanjaro with you. I was like, what the fuck? Whoa. And they did it. They did it this uh, in August. They climbed Kilimanjaro? Yeah. That's crazy. I know. They're only like 20, 20, 21. 20. It's crazy. But like, yeah, so Tinder's like, had a lot of good things. I've only really experienced not good things on it. <laughs> so, 
But you know. No, I whatever. think even those people, like those stories, I think even those are few and far between. Oh, for they sure, happen. man. They they do. Like they happen, but but more often it's like guys just saying pictures of their genitals unwarranted to women. Yeah, and, you yeah. Know. And I, I find a lot of women, I think, just like don't respond on that shit. Like mm-hmm. it takes a lot for them to respond. And I, and I mean. Don't, I can't blame him. I can't blame him either. It's like some guy says, hey, with a smiley face. Yeah. Which is what I do sometimes. I'm too lazy to think of a nice, like, startup. Yeah, don't but like, do that. It's not a good one. They'll be like, hey, smiley face. They'll be like, oh, he just wants to fuck. The next thing's going to be a dick pic. Yep. And they don't They don't go for it. So They're out of there. Yeah, and I, I don't know. I think that's fair. So, Woo! whatever. But like, woo, 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 woo. <laughs> yeah, so that's enough Tinder talk. Bam. So what's it going is. on in the game? We're at the end, baby. Hell yeah, through. baby. Hell fucking yeah. You're so good. I just want to lick that toe of yours. Lick that toe. Lick that toe. Oh, no. This is an awful level. I'm going to do this level. I'm going to lick that toe if my name ain't Joe. This level is probably going to cause the rest of this video to end in me just screaming. My name's but, not Joe. Uh, my name's we're, Eli. We're moving. We're, we're moving through the level. So I will suck that toe. This level has all of these <laughs> stupid stuff. I know this one. Barrels. I know this one. And it's a pain in the fucking asshole. When it says go... This guy's all, he's all in hype beast Yo, mode. Dude, that guy's like, like yeah, 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 yeah. we hit stop. That dude is on M, dude. He chills out. He's straight up on M. Look at him. Boom. His eyes are fucking dilated. No, he's too aggressive. He's on M, dude. He's too aggressive. All right, fuck, he's on speed. I don't know what he's on, but he's... He's on some like strain. He's on some amphetamine, baby. Can't waste time in this level. No, don't waste that time. I hate those little fucking crocodile teeth things down they're there. They're called clap traps. Ugh, oh, they're such a pain in the ass. I used to know the name of like everything in this game. Yeah, of course but you did. Because I, I was a kid and I loved it, but now I don't remember a bunch of them. But I yeah. do remember those are clap traps. Isn't that crazy how nowadays we have such a short attention span for things? Like, I find that in myself. Like, I want to get into a new TV series, or I want to play a new game series, or I want to play a new video game, or oh. whatever. Yeah. And... I find that it takes me so long to get into it, or I often just give up on it. And I was like, dude, when I was a kid, my attention span for things, like, I gave things so much of a chance. I know. You know I what I mean? It's because you're bored and you are less critical, I think. That's yeah, why. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. Because back in the day, like, I'd get one chance to buy a game every every so often. Yeah. So I'd buy that game and it had to be good. Same. And I if it to... wasn't good and I got mad about it, I'd be like, well, I gotta fucking play it. What else am I gonna uh. do? It's okay. You got you got Donkey. Ah! There you go. Uh, yeah, I used to you know rent games every weekend and stuff. Yeah, and then that was your whole weekend that you sacrificed if you had a shitty game. But, so you had to play it. But I never had shitty games because I oh, just nice. found a way to like them all. And that's what I'm getting at. It's like you you give games a chance, and so. Oh, this is the worst part. This is why I like trophy. Ah! Uh, oh shit, dude! Fuck! You were doing pretty well there, man. I know. But this is why I like things like achievements and trophies in games, which is, I want Nintendo to add something like that. I know. Because there's a lot of games that I got for free on the PlayStation Network, because they give out free games every month, right? Yep. And a lot of them, I was like, I'll just get it for free. It looks all right. Played it for like five minutes. I was like, fuck this. I don't want to get into this. This is lame, boring, whatever. Mm -hmm. But then I saw the trophy list, and I liked getting trophies, so I was like... Yeah, it gives you a reason. I to, might as well like fucking try, and, right? Yep. So, and then I give it a chance and try to get the trophies for it. And then near, at the end of the game, after playing it, I'm like, you know what? I really fucking like that game. And a lot of games are one of my favorites. Like Strider, first thing, first time I played Strider, I was like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. And then I tried to get all the trophies for it, which I did. And by the end of the game, I was like, Strider was one of the best gaming experiences I've had in a long time. The one for the PS4. Okay. You know. And then there's like. A bunch of other games that I would never play had it not been for like trophies, like Road Le- Road Not Taken. Mm-hmm. It's a really indie game. I think it, I think the the company that makes the developers Boom. like nice man. I think the developers like Spry Fox or something like that. Some company name like that. Okay. And it's it's basically you you're in this village and people get lost in the woods or something. And when you go like the woods are just like um like a twelve by twelve screen. And, the, and there's a bunch of enemies in it, but they don't attack you. They just take up a certain space, like a, ter- a certain tile. And depending on your movements, on what you do, on what you activate, and what like what your what you have in your inventory or whatever, I, if I remember correctly, it it affects the people on the, or the enemies in the, in those tiles, and it moves shit around. And it's just a big puzzle game. And every year that passes, it gets harder. So each level is one year, I think. Something like that. Either way, it's like a simple puzzle game that I would never have played had it not been for trophies. But I did, and then I appreciated the hell out of them. Nice. And 
and see kind of like coming around full circle is like something that gives you an incentive to give things a full chance is fun and i and it's it's giving you that like whimsical uh childhood innocence to give things a good chance it, it's given me that like trophies have given me that oh yeah oh i can't redo it no i agree 100 percent. and trophies and achievements give you replayability for games yeah that you wouldn't otherwise play again yeah see that's what i like no i think it's a really good thing and it sucks that nintendo doesn't have it sometimes they have them built in but it absolutely drives me insane that they don't have it and sometimes in the past it's been the deciding factor of which console i get a system 100 percent, 100 percent. like uh i can't remember what game was it that i was gonna get on the switch but i just i'm i'm decide i think it's dark souls i think I'm, i don't want to get dark souls on the switch even though i already pre-ordered it but like i'm gonna get it again on the playstation because i'd like to get trophies for it yeah so, i know like even though i probably won't platinum it because it's fucking hard like it's still nice to have trophies there all right we gotta find this we gotta find it where's it going okay i just wait i'm focusing on the furthest to the right that's what i was thinking too all right do it oh, fuck yeah baby our eyes are amazing our eyes best. are amazing 2020 steven eli 2020 best. steven eli let's best. go let's go i want to get some glasses best. just best. so i can throw best. them out and say best. hey i got good eyes Work. <laughs> best uh, uh yeah but even without trophies like i just wish i would give games more of a chance and give tv series more of a chance movies more of a chance like even movies i'll put it on for five minutes and give up on it yeah and that sucks and i hate that i'm like that but i feel like a lot of us are nowadays we are a lot of people nowadays are definitely like that yeah and so i think now that i'm conscious about that i'm gonna give things more of a chance mm -hmm. so like i knew that making a murder is like it, it took the world by storm when it came out yeah and i never watched it and i i watched like actually i did try to watch it. i watched like 10 minutes of it and i gave up on it yeah right but then I, I started watching it again i think two days ago and after the first episode i was like okay second episode halfway through the second episode i was like oh i'm liking this it's a it's good yeah. i haven't watched all of it either but yeah. it definitely hooks you in and gets you yeah but you see what i mean though like i had to give it a chance yeah sometimes you have to force it yeah and and i mean that's happened to me with a lot of things and it sucks that i don't stick to that method of of like seeing uh watching new movies or new tv series or playing new games like yeah. I, I should stick to that method of like give it a good chance um but you know i don't and i think a lot of us don't and i think it's because like we're we're told nowadays to like we're told what we like and what we, and what's yeah. good and what's bad we're also to, like we have a lot of pressure to do a lot of things to be go-getters in this yeah. society whereas like a lot of us at least for me i don't like to waste an afternoon you know what i mean yeah so like i'll feel genuinely bad like i saw but at what point it's up to you to decide if you're wasting it. I not, know, right? and that's the thing, though. That, but that's like how we've been socially. Um, oh, I can't think of the word, but like we've been taught to. We've been like groomed. Yeah, we've been we've been taught to just like, you know, throw things away if they're not fun. Throw things away if they're not good. You know, always be doing the best that you can at every given moment, or enjoying the best at every given moment. Everything has to be a hundred percent, and like. Sometimes it's okay to watch a shitty movie because you gain experience from that movie. And like, I don't know, yeah. like, that's a shitty example, but like, it's cool to say you've played all these games. It's cool to see you've watched all these movies, good and bad. Like, everything's an experience, so yeah. I think like you should enjoy it while, for what it is. And you I think, should. like, what I saw the other day was downsizing. Yeah. Matt Damon, and I, I remember telling you how shitty it was. I thought it was shitty. I thought it was horrible. And I remember telling you like, yo, I gave up two hours of my life to that shit, and I'm mad about it. But, like, in hindsight, I'm like, why should I be mad about it? You shouldn't be. Like, I saw the movie. Experience. That was an experience that I saw. Let's leave it here, though. We'll get back at you with more game time and more Donkey Kong. On the next game time. Next game time. We'll do more game time things. With your friends. Yeah.